Now all new at 5 o'clock, President Trump's former campaign chairman Paul Manafort and his associate Rick Gates facing a judge today in their money laundering and conspiracy case. The two charged as part of the special counsel's investigation into Russian meddling in the 2016 presidential election. Paul Manafort and his former business partner Richard Gates appearing in federal court Thursday afternoon. The pair had been under house arrest since Monday when they were indicted on 12 felony counts, including conspiracy against the U.S. and money laundering. The indictment stemmed from Special Prosecutor Robert Mueller's investigation into Russian meddling in the 2016 election. On Monday, Manafort's lawyer called the charges ridiculous. There is no evidence that Mr. Manafort or the Trump campaign colluded with the Russian government. Ahead of the hearing, prosecutors argued Manafort and Gates posed serious flight risks, but the defense pushed back, saying Manafort is too recognizable to flee. While Manafort and Gates appeared in federal court, a former Trump campaign advisor was on Capitol Hill, testifying behind closed doors about his contact with the Russians. Former foreign policy advisor Carter Page has repeatedly denied serving as an intermediary between Trump's campaign and Russian officials. It was revealed Monday that another former foreign policy advisor to the Trump campaign, George Papadopoulos, pleaded guilty to lying to the FBI about his contacts with Russian operatives. Both Manafort and Gates are due back in court on Monday. Meantime, President Trump will need a new nominee for the Department of Agriculture. Sam Clovis taking himself out of the running today, citing the political climate in Washington. Clovis's nomination became very tricky because of his relationship with George Papadopoulos during the campaign. The Washington Post reports that Clovis was one of the campaign officials referred to in those court documents that Papadopoulos emailed about Russia.